Good evening and welcome to part two of my bathroom remodel. It is just about midnight, almost midnight. Um, I'm gonna try and stay up for a couple more hours, not too super late. I literally was just talking a second ago. So if you ended part one, this is just starting part two, got the Wayne's coating up for the most part all the way around. So it's all here. Obviously you gotta paint and fill holes and do all that kind of stuff and actually sand it down and get it all painted. But all the Wayne's coating is all done back behind the door, all that stuff. So I just got out our new vanity and just kind of stuffed it here in place just to see what it was gonna look like. So a couple things. One, it arrived a little bit broken. So there's a little door stopper here that broke off. So I'll, I can fix that. So that's just gonna go right here. It just, right there, somewhere. Yeah, so I'll just, I don't know if I'm gonna glue this one back in place and screw it in or if I'm going to actually just replace it. But when it works, in theory, it's about to fall. But anyway, so I gotta fix that. I also have to, back here, yeah, see there, it just fell. So this is not on yet, so once it's in place, I'll actually put that in. But back behind here, you'll see this opening back here is not quite big enough, but no one's ever gonna see it back here. So what I'm gonna probably do is end up getting either a jigsaw or a router or something, taking out a little area there so I can actually push this up against the wall, um, just so widening this a little bit so I can actually get it and then I'll get everything replumbed in here. Obviously gotta get a new sink, or uh, put the faucet in is what I'm trying to say. It's a little big, <laughs> but I don't think it will seem too big once I get everything else painted white. And I think it's because it, it's a lot of this color right now, but this is all getting painted white. So I, I think once that's done, it'll feel a little bit bigger. But the nice thing is I can actually just finish this wainscoting on the side here because it doesn't have to go all the way in. Um, it could, but it really, it's not gonna make enough of a difference here to even warrant doing that. So I can actually just finish the wainscoting all along that wall just like normal. And then back here, I'll just have a little panel here to vertical the smaller here. And obviously I'll get it up against the wall, put the backsplash on it, the little, the little whatever, not backsplash, but I guess it's backsplash. Anyway, just that little right there. And then the only things left to do, I still need to paint the upper area. I need to replace that light fixture and then put the new like towel holder and stuff like that up. So still a decent amount of the way to go. Um, nothing that, nothing that can't be handled. If you missed the first part though, I did already replace our fan up there with one with a light. So now we have some extra light in here, which is very nice. And then we now have, what am I trying to say? I'm already losing my mind. It's midnight, I'm very tired. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. That I'm, This is not the order I'm gonna do it in, but I'm gonna measure this so I know where this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and try and um, spackle this, maybe even the first coat of paint on this tonight. We'll see how far I get tonight. We'll see, once I start getting tired, I'll just go to bed. But this is the kind of time when it's midnight, all the girls are asleep, so this is when I have the time to actually get stuff done. Anyway, so moving forward, First things first, I'm gonna finish the wainscoting along that wall. Well, I'm gonna make some measurements, then I'm gonna finish the wainscoting along that wall. Let's start with that. <laughs> Alrighty, um, this is super duper hard to film this bathroom because it's so small. I guess I could do the, the wider lens, hold on. There, you can see it a little bit better. So <laughs> the uh, I finished up this last little corner here. Once I get the vanity in, I will be able to do that last little top of part there. Um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and caulk around these seams and touch it up with wood glue, um, touch up with uh, some putty and that kind of stuff. So that way tomorrow I can paint it. If I get that done, I'll be pretty happy with, with today because then it can dry overnight and I can paint this stuff tomorrow. So change of plans here. I uh, got a little bit done here over on this corner. I didn't get very far. But uh, you can see here, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing this like caulking around here. So you can see like that is a very kind of clean looking uh, edge there. And especially you won't even notice it once it's painted um, as opposed to something like uh, over here where I haven't actually done it yet. So you can see there's a big gap there. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm going around here and caulking, I'll end up doing it around the top here as well. And um, I'm also kind of touching up the seams here. I have a few gaps that I'm touching up with some wood filler. Um, and then I will actually fill all these in as well so I can sand them down and paint them. So you won't even notice that they're there once everything's filled and painted and all that kind of stuff. So didn't get as far as I wanted to. I almost never do, but it's 2 a.m. My iPad's about to die. So I'm like, all right, I'm calling it for tonight, but uh, I'll pick it up tomorrow and we'll keep on keep it on. Good night. OK, 
Okie dokie, artichokey. We are all spackled and we've got the wood filler and it's all caulked and everything. I'm gonna let all that dry for a little bit and while I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top half. I'm assuming I'll probably do two coats of that as well, but I'll go ahead and get everything taped off. I'm, I'm not too worried about that light, but I'm gonna leave it in for now. So I'll tape around that and then shelf and all that kind of stuff, get the top half all painted. But anyway, so those are our next few steps here. Let's go. Bing bada boom, the first coat of the upper section there is now done. Actually, it covered really well. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this paint, I'll have to go look and see what paint it is. I, don't, I already don't remember what I bought, but it covered really well for this being a first coat. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat tomorrow. Before I go to bed, I'm gonna do a quick dusting, or a quick sanding down here, kind of wipe everything down. I might have a few sections I'm gonna have to retouch a little bit more where it sort of sunk it in. And I think I'm gonna try and get the first coat of paint on tonight so then it can dry. There we go, the wide angle lens really does make it so you can see a little bit better. But uh, so anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So on to another time lapse. This <laughs> this whole bathroom remodel has just been essentially time lapse after time lapse. Time lapse number 45, let's go. <laughs> quick rough end job. It's definitely gonna take several coats on this trim down here. But anyway, it's getting pretty late. I am ready to go to bed, so we will start on this tomorrow. Well, hello, and happy Sunday. Um, we've got a couple problems. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Tyler Braun home project if there weren't any problems. So let me show you what I'm looking at. First problem is that the area around the caulking on the side is not, the paint is not adhering. And it makes sense because it's a hydrophobic material and I should have painted it, then done the the lines of caulking around it. And that was just on me. This is the first time I've ever done wainscoting. I don't know if I've ever even mentioned that. So if you do this, don't do as I do, paint it, then maybe do the line of caulking and then maybe you can do another coat of paint on top or whatever. So I have a couple things that I can do to help remediate the situation, I hope. The first thing I'm gonna try and do is because just enough paint stuck to it, I'm wondering if that's gonna give me enough of a surface to start to grip onto with paint. So I'm gonna test that in a little area. I'm assuming that's not gonna work, but just because it didn't completely wipe off, there's like little bits of it that might be just, just enough to have the paint adhere to the actual wall. See, like it's really bad here. So that's my first line of defense. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna try and get a real light sanding and sort of scuff up the surface and see if I can get the paint to adhere to that. If none of that works, then I guess I'm going to be scraping off because I have a tool that I can scrape off this caulking here and then I can basically paint it and then re-caulk at the very end. But here's the problem, it's not even real caulking. Let me, let me show you what I used. So normally I would have used just caulking and it would have been paintable caulking or just a glossy white and it would have probably been fine because it would have been a thinner, uh, just in the just in the corner, so it probably would have still been fine because it's all white. But what I used was this flex shot stuff, which is a rubber sealant. And th the reason why is because I bought this to go around some windows to like because there was a few areas in our house that had like windows that were leaking. So I bought this, and I bought a four pack of it because it was cheaper to like cheaper per bottle to buy this instead of buying like one. And so I bought like a four pack. So I had tons of it left over. I use like half of one can. And so I've had three and a half sitting out in the garage forever. I'm like, okay, this is the perfect time. I'll just finally use it up. And it is nice because you, you just, you like, it's just a little thing here. You just push down and it sprays out instead of having to like have a caulking gun and all that kind of stuff. So I thought this will be great. I'll use this. But the problem was I have this little tool that I use that gives me a real nice line when I'm done. So it, I put the caulking in and then I use this tool to kind of go all the way down and it really fills it in nicely, it looks really clean and all that, but it kind of pushed out a little bit. So the actual white ends there, and then there's this clear down the side that is also not having paint stick to it. I'll use real caulking up here that I can actually paint, or I'll do it at the very end and it'll be white and it'll be just groovy anyway. So don't use that, don't do it in that order. 
do as I say, not as I do. So paint <laughs> first, then do it. So we'll see how I can get it to adhere. I'm sure I'll figure out something. And then the second issue is, again, I just used a cheapo roller. I have some real nice rollers. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell. I have some real nice rollers that are um, basically used for cabinets and that kind of stuff. So give it a real smooth finish. And it would have been fine on here, but I should have used, this is just a, a, a cruddy old one that I had. And now I have a little bit of texture on here that I don't want. I want it to end up being smooth. So again, stupid on me for not thinking through what this was gonna do. I was like, I'll just throw a coat of paint on it knowing I was gonna do multiple coats and I did not think through anything. So don't do that. <laughs> Use the nicer one so that it, it has the actual smooth finish. So I'm going to try and sand this down. I'm going to try and sand around there. Hopefully the paint will adhere to it. Anyway, that's uh, that's where we are right now. Like I said, it wouldn't be a Tyler Braun home project if I didn't do at least one thing wrong. So anyway, that's what I'm going to start doing here. Uh, it, I will say this green paint, it's coming dar across darker in the video than it is in real life, but it is just in general darker than what I had pictured. So Jessica said she really likes it, but I think if I were picking it, I would have put, picked a little bit lighter, uh, but we'll see what it all looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, so good news. I just did this little area here as a test, and it's actually, the paint is adhering pretty darn well. It's maybe not quite as smooth as I wanted it, just in the, in the sides here, but that's okay. I can live with that as long as it actually adheres. I think we might be okay. I guess we'll see <laughs> how it goes. So I'm gonna do, uh, I think my next step is to do, just go ahead and try and cut in all of those areas. Um, and then I do around the light switches and stuff like that. Get another layer of paint on as far as the, the joints and all that kind of stuff. And then I think we're actually gonna go to the zoo here in a little bit. But anyway, I'm happy, I'm happy that it's actually adhering at least well enough that unless you're getting real close in there, it's, it's fine. As I always like to say, good enough. Okay, one of my favorite stories of all time is one that I wasn't even there for. So my best friend Ben, his dad, John, is A, hilarious, but B, Nothing. Calm as a cucumber. He's like the the most chill nope. guy. Calm as a cucumber. What? Why did I? What did I just hear? Cool as a cucumber. Whatever it is. Anyway. No, I think you said calm as a cool cumber. Cool I just cumber. Said it and I on. no, I liked it. Let's. I'm trying to be John Hall. Not let this get to me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, he's hilarious. And at one point, I wasn't even there for the story. I heard it secondhand. But I guess he was upset about something, and he was talking to somebody on the phone, and he said, "You know, I am not a happy camper," and literally. <laughs> Ben's sister turned to her friend and said, I've never seen my dad this mad. <laughs> Even him saying, I'm not a happy camper. And that's the maddest he's ever wow. been. Wow. Anyway, I tell you that story to tell you, I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> I was gonna, I told Jessica to film me here. Oh, you want me to keep going? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. It's turning out okay, but not very good. And so here's the issue. I have two issues. I talked a little bit about these panels here. So I've never done wainscoting before. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. So I used Luan here, and Luan is what we used to build sets back when I used to do theater. So it was like, when I was thinking just a thin flat panel, I was like, oh, we, that's what we used to use to build sets. So I was like, that's perfect. It is not perfect. Okay, Jessica had to run upstairs to go help uh, Genevieve. So Luan is what we used to use when we built sets. And so I was like, oh, that's what I'll grab. Turns out I should not have used it. I should have used really any other kind of wood. I could have used maple or something else that would not be as porous. And what you can see here, you can see all this here is, uh, <laughs> I was really hoping it'd be really nice and smooth. So you're getting a lot of that wood grain coming in. I have since put three coats of paint on here. I've, I've learned that there's a, a few things I could have done. I could have used um, like a, basically a pre-treatment on it. Um, I could have done a primer on it. And those probably would have helped, but it's a little too late for that now because I've got the, the paint on it already. So it's just a lesson learned and <laughs> I'm allowing you to learn before you do this at home. If you decide to do this at home, don't use Luan, use a real panel. I think what I'm going to do, I had to call in the big guns. I had to call over Mr. Brady because Mr. Brady is uh, Mr. Wainscoting. He's, he wears a lot of hats, but one of them is he's uh, the king of Wainscoting. And so... I asked him like, okay, so what can I do here? And he's like, you can still prime it even though there's paint on it. And there are specific kind of primers that you can use that will help fill in a lot of these gaps, even though there's already paint on it. Um, so on the panels themselves, I'm going to go ahead and prime them tonight. Hopefully that will make them a little smoother. And then I'll put maybe one more fourth and final coat on tomorrow. The other issue I had was the one I've already talked about with the caulking. When I painted it, it just sort of rippled. I tried to sand it down, it's not looking great. He suggested, he said, what I can probably do is just go ahead and use real caulking over this. He said, try that. If that doesn't work, 
Um, I can just get a scraper, scrape it out and paint it and then, and then do a caulking over that. But the, the caulking that I bought today is, uh, it's white caulking, but I can paint it too. So then I'll probably end up painting it. But it's just like this area right here, like there's just the, these little imperfections and like there, that's just my fault because I didn't paint it very well. But a lot of it, I mean, it looks okay, especially if you're just kind of looking at it from afar, it looks okay. But when you really start looking at it, it's just, I'm like, I've gone this far, I want it to look nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make it as, as good as I can. The nice thing is like the, the vanity and stuff like that's gonna come out to here. So it'll be covering up a decent amount of it. The good news is once I get this wainscoting done, the vanity shouldn't take very long. The mirror, the light, all that stuff shouldn't take very long. So it should be pretty quick after that. I was gonna show you two other things here really quickly. So this uh, this here is what I was using. This Valspar cabinets and doors, it was a foam sort of roller. Um, it says spray like lint free finish. And I was like, oh, spray like finish. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. They did not obviously work out as well as I wanted to. So Brady said that he uses these, the uh, jumbo ultra finish, which is funny. They're called jumbo because they're tiny. They, uh, the ultra smooth finish ones here. And you can almost see here, they have sort of a different uh, material that they're almost, they're like thicker and they almost, I don't know, they look like fabric almost. Um, anyway, so this is what he said he uses. He, uses, he said this does a lot better job. So I'm gonna try these when I'm actually doing the painting and the, um, the priming. And then I actually got this primer here, which is this heavy duty high hide sealer and stain blocker. I'm losing my mind, guys. Um, so it says, uh, where was it? Yeah, this creamy high hide formula. So I'm hoping this will help get rid of some of those uh, little areas there that uh, you can see the wood grain. So hopefully that'll help. And if it doesn't, well, then we're just gonna call it good because I can't just keep painting it over and over and over again. <laughs> okay, so this is actually, I'm doing the caulking first. I decided to do that before I do the priming. This is actually working really well. So I did the caulking here in all these like inner areas. And then what I did was I just wiped it with my finger and it gave me a real nice clean line. So that's actually working really well. Um, you can kind of see here the difference. So like, this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after. So it's giving me a much cleaner line. It's not perfect, but it's much better when you're looking at that versus looking at that. Overall, this is working much better. So I'm very happy with that. Hopefully the uh, priming does the same thing and then we can finish painting this and move on. Okie dokie. I am very happy with how this turned out. It, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks about 80% better. I know I'm trying to show you on my you know, camera phone. It's not doing a great, Great job of showing the difference, but in person it looks a lot different. So if I can get these panels to look a little bit better tomorrow, that'll be just great. So I can actually paint this already. It says paintable within 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it cure at least overnight. I am just tickled that this turned out as well as it did, this uh, this caulking stuff here on the side. So good to go. Howdy, howdy, and good morning. This morning I went through and painted the caulking I did last night and I went ahead and put the primer on all of these panels. It didn't level it near as much as I wanted it to. I was hoping it would have more of a uh, self-leveler or a self-leveling agent in it that would make it a little bit smoother. I could probably do a couple more coats, but I just, I can't possibly paint this again. This is already the fourth coat of paint, or three coats of paint. Now the coat of primer. I'm gonna do one more coat of paint when this is dry. Lesson learned, don't use Luan, use real wood. But for now, I'm gonna call this good enough. So while this is all drying, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out this light with the one that we bought. We talked about it in the part one, we got it at Lowe's. So that's gonna go up right now while this is all drying. I'm gonna use that elsewhere. I'm gonna replace that. Let's see what we can do. Quick change of plans. Mr. Brady's here and he's with uh, an electrician to work on the electricity in our basement. We were having some issues with some of the stuff down there. So it's part of the reason we haven't done our basement tour yet, but we're gonna do that here soon. But I say that because I don't wanna be putting up that new light while they're messing with electrical. I don't wanna be flipping <laughs> breakers and stuff while they're doing that. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean up the garage because it is a mess right now. I was really good at the first couple of days, you know, keeping everything clean as I was going. I have since uh, gotten away from that. Okie dokie, so they're done with the electrical. So before I start on the light, I'm actually gonna go and put the final coat on the wainscoting. So that way it can be drying over the next couple hours because my I, ideally I'm gonna get the vanity in tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the final coat on that. I'm gonna call it good. Then while that's drying, I'll work on the light. So that's my next steps here.
Okay, the Wayne's coating officially has five coats of paint on it. So I have to call it good. It's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna take the lessons I've learned <laughs> moving forward if I ever do this again. I'm gonna move on from there. Let's tackle the light. All right, the new light fixture is in. I went ahead and just reused the same bulbs that we had. They, they're the, they call them vintage style. So they have like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like an amber look to them. So we're probably gonna change those out for brighter bulbs that don't have that like vintage look to them. So the, it's a little bit darker than what I think it is going to end up looking like once we get the new bulbs in there. But overall, the, the actual thing itself, I think looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the vanity here. Now there's a couple things I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the faucet on the top here, because that's already done when I wheel it in there or when I scooch it in there, I guess I should say, there's no wheels. Um, and then I think I might've already talked about it a little bit, but the way that the water comes in, from the wall, it's a little bit wider than that is back there. So I'm gonna get my router out and cut out around the side there. I'll then put the backsplash on the top and then I've got to for fit in the uh, the two little vertical things in the, uh, the part there in the back. I've gotta get those cut to size, I've gotta paint them and then I'll get those installed. So gonna be a little bit of a, a time consumer here but it should be pretty easy. It's just gonna be waiting for paint to dry literally in between coats and stuff like that. Okay, so I got the tape all off and now I'm gonna try and start working on this here. But you can see how when I have this right up against the wall over here, that this is not gonna fit. But the problem is not only am I gonna have to cut out this part right here, I'm also gonna have to cut out this shelf here because that's hitting right where that shelf is, which is pretty, sh <laughs> I can't even make that joke. I was gonna say it's pretty shellfish of it. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have to cut this out too. Again, no one's ever gonna see it. There's doors on the front of it here. Um, and then I'm gonna use a router. So it's a, it'll be a nice clean cut, but I'm gonna have to end up cutting this out a little bit, and then I'll end up probably having to cut around here. I'll have to kind of figure out where exactly I want it to, to kind of come in here. This will still have obviously the plenty of shelves in here for um, anything we need to keep in here, towels, hand towels, toilet paper, whatever else we're gonna keep in here. I'm gonna try and make it look as clean as I can. So it'll be fine, but this way, instead of trying to move anything else, like move any plumbing or anything, that's gonna be the easiest route here. But I think it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it's fine. <laughs> All right, it's now Monday. Happy Labor Day, by the way. We ended up being out of town over the weekend. We weren't planning on it originally, so put me back a, a couple days on the bathroom remodel. I'm gonna start working on it again. I guess that's the whole point of the story. So picking up where we left off, I'm gonna keep working on the vanity. Let's go. Okay, I notched this out on that back wall back there so I can slide this now in place. Perfect. I can only do it with one hand and try to film it while I'm doing it. But anyway, so I can film, I can push that back. And then I took the shelf out and I'm gonna cut an area out of the shelf here as well. So this is the shelf that goes there in the middle. And so I, this, here it's kind of hard to show you with one hand. So this was just straight and went all the way to the back, just this little horseshoe bend here. And I cut out that and that, not the world's most, most prettiest cuts, but they'll work because uh, honestly it doesn't matter because no one will ever see them. Kind of like the one back there, unless somebody, opens up these doors here in front, pulls uh, out any towels and toilet paper or anything else and like looks at these cuts. So if you ever come to my house, don't do that because it doesn't look great. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so this will slide in here. Let me show you here. All right, it's kind of hard to see here, but now once this is all back in there and I put the shelf back, you'll see there's now that open there. So I can now actually finish plumbing this new faucet and get this pushed back in there. Ta-da! Okay, I had to wait till Jessica got home because I was trying to figure out my next steps here because I, I'm, we're changing things around a little bit from what I had in my head, but I think it's gonna look better in the end. So I think so too. This came with this stone piece here that's gonna go as a little backsplash here along the back here. So that'll go here. Mm -hmm. And originally my plan was to move this right up against the wall, like it's like all the way up against the wall mm -hmm. and have this, the two vertical pieces here basically live on top of it. Like meet up with it right, flush. but then it would yeah. be up against the wall there, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but then I was like, okay, I should have thought through. I was like, I should have cut that out and all that kind of stuff. Like the baseboard? Could, yeah, the baseboard so I could actually push up against the wall. I just didn't think through it. But then I was thinking as I was like actually looking at it, I'm like, I think it would actually look better to basically just finish this wall back here and have it out from the wall a little bit. So it's a little, like this almost looks freestanding, if you will. And so instead- And so it would make the wall look like we completed it all right, the way out. Right, right. So even I though think, we didn't. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. And it's funny, cause I could have now, I could, no, I could have done it the whole time. 
But I, I got the first panel here painted, just one coat off, but like five more coats on, as you guys all know. But uh, I was just looking at it, I just think that would look better I to have do too. the wall finish. So this piece obviously will go all the way down. Um, or at least most of the way yeah, down. Yeah. But then it would almost look like this is a little bit more freestanding instead of having me, like I said, kind of wrap it around there like that. I think both would look good, but both Tyler and I agree that that would look the best. Yeah, and so if you can kind of see here, it will almost kind of look like this. This will be the back where that is the the back. So yeah, I think that makes more sense. I do too. I'm excited. Okay. Okie dokie. Just a quick update here. I got the faucet on. So that's ready to go. Once this is all done, I can then get this all finished up, getting plumbed and ready to go. Went ahead and put those last few pieces on. So when this is all scooted in, it'll be all good to go. I obviously need to finish the seams and put one or two more coats of paint on it. And then that'll be done. Then I can scoot this back and finish that. And then it's just a matter of hanging the mirror and the towel holder and the toilet paper holder. And then I went ahead and I already put on the little uh, thing there at the bottom. So then I'll put a line of caulking around the top and get that all painted and looking really nice and finished. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do on the floor. I might put a, uh, a piece of cord around, around the bottom. I might just try and really clean it up really well and see if it looks better just having it sort of end there and be flat. So I don't know, I'm gonna kind of figure that out once that's all done, but that's sort of the last piece of the puzzle here. So I'll get this all done here um, and I'll kind of give you a couple updates here as I go. Okay, I am calling it a night. I am so close to being done here. I'm not gonna show you too much because at this point I'm close enough to where I'm not gonna show you everything until like the final reveal. So you gotta finish up that wall back there. Like I've said before, get all this finished, get the last few things on the wall and then it'll be done. But I'm not showing you anymore until it's all done. So be ready for the grand reveal coming up next. Okay. Are you ready for the big reveal? 14 days is what it ended up taking me, but it ended up taking like 20 days because there was like six days that I didn't work on it at all. So mm -hmm. 14 full work days, but it's done. It's done. Are you ready? It's done, it's done, it's done. It's done. For the reveal. <laughs> gosh you guys i was joking i was like this will be a pretty quick reveal because everyone has seen everything i've done up until now mm -hmm. <laughs> there's not much to show it's true but it's so so pretty oh my gosh so, this uh, i told tyler this is my dream bathroom like genuinely the only thing that uh that towel is one of the girls towels i just put it there for effect but we're gonna get i think different towels i don't know what white maybe, I know. the gray maybe, doesn't look terrible though black. but we were thinking white maybe black or like with a pattern We'll see what yeah. we end up with. We didn't want to do sage green again because we did end up going with the sage green uh, rug. Yeah, just because just got this today. Yep. And then I think it looks good in there. The other light on too. It's so bright, so much brighter than our own. Oh my gosh, yeah. night and day. And then we had this candle already, and then I grabbed this at Target. Oh, I need to um, that shelf off. Yeah, but I grabbed that at Target uh, today as well. And we grabbed this. We need to fill it with soap, but we figured looks wise, this really fits in and again that kind of matches with that candle over there too because i feel like generally you can find candles like this with that what's that called medicine glass or amber Sun, whatever whatever it is um yeah. you can find that yeah all the time but yeah i am just tyler you freaking did it babe it's done it looks absolutely amazing <laughs> <I did. laughs>